Parallel Winos, Antoine Finn. We are live down here in Seattle, Pike Place Market, at the Tasting Room in, um, in Pike Place, off Post Alley. Um, their contact information is um, TTR Seattle on Twitter, TTR Seattle on uh, Facebook, and I believe what is it, tastingroomseattle.com. Today, we are tasting wine glass cellars. Okay, this is the Chardonnay, and they have a huge assortment of bread. So, I figured let's get this one out of the way. Uh, I haven't tasted it yet. Uh, I have a feeling it's probably gonna be impressive. This behind me, getting everything and kind of keeping busy is Sarah, and she's gonna tell you a little bit about wine glass cellars. Hello, hello. Uh, wine glass cellars, uh, one of the seven family owned wineries in here, uh, is out of Villa, Washington. They use exclusively Yakima Valley fruits. They keep it pretty local in their little realm. Uh, you can go visit them over in Villa as well, so they do have a tasting room on that side of the mountains, but want it to be available for you Western Washingtonians as well. Uh, starting off with their one and only white wine, uh, a very, very cold classic favorite around here in the shop. It is their In the Buff Chardonnay, uh, 2009 vintage, so 100% stainless steel, it's nice, crisp, and refreshing. Really? So what's the production What's the production of this wine? Um, uh, well, the winery overall only does 3,000 cases a year, so they're all Okay, that's kind of cool. Who's the winemaker? The winemaker is actually a, um, a du dynamic duo, David and Linda Lowell, a lovely married couple. They uh, share the winemaking responsibilities. Okay, and, and are they the owners too? They're the owners, yes. Yeah, uh, winemaker owned and operated. Very cool. Yeah. And I imagine they're in the, um, the Seattle Artists and yeah. Wines Club. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, the big one. The big book? No, no, no. Uh, Paul Beveridge Group. I, I'm not sure actually. I'm not positive if they're in that as well. Well, if they're here, they're in there. Yeah, they're here, they're there. All right, fantastic. Uh, so let's uh, try it out. Yeah. Let's see what the nose looks like. All right, so immediately um, on this one right here. Yeah, I'll show you guys the label again. All right. So in the buff, 2009. Damn, it's, it's got that um, really ripe uh, uh, lemon zest to it. Um, with a little bit of very crisp apples, like really green grandma apples. Grandma apples? The green ones, whatever. Anyway. Um, some nice light herbs to it. I'm gonna give it a whirl, because that's all I'm getting right now. Dog treat fun is dog treat fun is not a spit bucket. Oh, I'm gonna move grab one. I do I'll grab one for All right. Alright, let's do this. This is like the first interview I've done with sitting down, so it's kinda wicked. I love this platoon. Um, man, it's got a lot of spice to it. Um, that really light spice that I got at the beginning, the herbal spice is just gone. Um, but it's just really heavy right now. Um, you still get the fruit, the fruit zest, the, uh, the lemon zest is still there. Um, a little mallow, not too much. Um, um, I don't get too much oak, maybe a little bit. Maybe that's where the, the spice is coming from, the oak itself. Um, pretty good wine, actually. I'm pretty surprised. It's totally different than most other wines I've had. And most other wines don't have, especially Chardonnay's, they don't have that big spice zest that I get out of this one. Um, I'm trying to get a, a price on this sucker. Here, I'm going to get you a price on this sucker. Fantastic, here we go. We got uh, 2009, 
So by the bottle, it's 15 bucks. If you're on the club here at TTR, which is something I do recommend at the Tasting Room here in Seattle, um, your club price is 12 bucks. It's also the same price as the Karak. So if you can get on the club, buy a bottle, you get more for your buck. So, um, yeah, pretty cool wine. We'll go to the next one, whatever that may be. I think it's probably going to be a Sangiovese, which is cool. I love Sangiovese.